All right, we're back for part two. You ready for this? Yeah. I'm going to get this done in 15 minutes. This is not going to be a three-parter again. It's not going to happen. Um, does Molly's diet motivate your diet? Or does yours in terms of cooking healthy dishes and branching out? What about each other's influence on exercise? Uh, I don't know why it sounded like I was going to keep going with that. But that was the end of the question. Well, yeah. you're All right. So definitely in, like, it used... I don't know. I was pretty good with, like, not buying unhealthy foods before, um, except for weekends. Yeah, you had, so. you had your weekend rule. Do you still have your weekend rule? Nope. So that's one thing that's changed uh, with you. It's like I don't bake any desserts now, so... Because you also have moved to Rhode Island for me, and <laughs> the weekend baking was to take to your parents, which is kind of out of the picture now that you've moved to Rhode Island for me. Mm -hmm. So... But also, like, because I don't want to, like, bake something that you can't eat or that you shouldn't eat. So I don't bake those anymore, so I don't have them anymore. So that's changed that. Um, also, portions. Like, I used to not really portion out carrots. <laughs> now I do portion out carrots, so I'm a little more um, reasonable with those. I don't have to buy pounds of carrots to last me a week. <laughs> <laughs> Not that carrots are really that bad, but... I, I was going to turn orange if I kept up that habit. Yeah, you were. Like a pound <laughs> a day, he was turning orange. <laughs> um, but an exercise, like, I've... I guess we've been busy lately, but, like, you motivated me to do more a more variety of exercises rather than just biking, because that's what I used to always do. So, um, it's changed that way. And we, we get to do stuff together, like running. Like, I had never done running on my own yeah. before I was... And by running, you mean so. that, like, walk-jog thing that I do. Yes. <laughs> I use the term running very loosely, which has caused you to use the term running very loosely, because I still weigh 200 pounds, and it's still incredibly hard for me to just, like, go for a run. It's more like go for a jog, walk, jog, walk. But yeah. Yeah, so like I've I've never had the motivation to do that on my own. And now that I have someone to do it with, it's a lot easier. Now we're swimming. Yep. Because we're triathloning in twenty days. <laughs> um so yeah. Yeah. What attracts you to Molly? She's mentioned that she loves your health conscious mentality. Is it the same for you? I do love that about you. Like Knowing someone who doesn't always want to go out to junk food, go out to eat and stuff. Like, I really like having dinners at home that we cook, and then, like, eating healthy foods. I, I do like that about you. But I also find you beautiful. So, Really? <laughs> I'm not just saying that. And you know that, because, like, I've said it. Like, a thousand times just today. <laughs> so... Like, I'm obviously attracted to you in that way. Um, I love that you, like, like adventuring, too. I mean, there's a certain level of adventuring that I'm sort of not at, like, skydiving. That's a little I'm looking for, for people to go skydiving with me. This is a public service announcement that if you'd like to go on a molly-sleeved skydiving adventure, that you need to contact me, because there's some people I can't convince to go skydiving with me. <laughs> I like fun. living. Living is fun. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to go skydiving. One of these days, I'm going to convince you. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I also like that you know, are reasonable with like drinking and that kind of stuff. Like we yeah, share, we don't. We share a lot of opinions about stuff like that. Yeah. We so. split. A hard cider last night. That's it's that bad. <laughs> we didn't each have our own. We we split one. By a campfire. <laughs> By a campfire. That was really really nice. That didn't get tracked. I should probably try that. Anyways, <laughs> um, what is it like to be dating someone whose appearance changes rapidly? It's not that noticeable. Like, 
a day to day basis. So. That's true. You hit me time. at two sixty, I think was when we started dating, and now I'm around two hundred. So I've lost sixty ish, I think. Yeah, like I can see it in pictures and past videos, but like on a day to day basis you don't you still seem like the same person to me. <laughs> and your personality hasn't changed that much. So to me you're the same person that you were 60 pounds earlier. Giant moth just about dive bombed my head. <laughs> what about the excess skin? It's... I don't... It's, I don't know. I haven't noticed it getting any more noticeable than it used to be. Okay, so it's not more noticeable, but it's like, okay, you're dating a 21-year-old. You expect, like, beach body here. Because this is not beach body. I'm <laughs> just saying. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that question was. I just feel like it kind of fits into the the appearance thing. Like, you're dating a 21-year-old. You wouldn't expect, like, the damage that's been done to my body. Yeah, but it doesn't really bother me. Like, I don't find it gross or disgusting like you do sometimes. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say like you do. I was waiting for that. Like, I don't know. I guess it's just because I understand, like, why it happened and that... I don't know. It's just because it's there doesn't mean like it's not really a bad thing. Like it's not going to kill you or anything. Like it's a sign that you positively changed your life. So seems it, like you got this scripted. I didn't even. That wasn't even written down. So how, how would I have known that? <laughs> um, not that I even looked at these before. You looked at some of the ones that I told you would be harder. And then I forgot them. <laughs> um, I mean, we kind of already covered this in what we talked about. Did you know Molly at her heaviest? Well, how would you say she's changed since weight loss? You're definitely happier. Even, like, comparing from, like, um, however, what was that? Like, I guess seven months ago when we were first dating. Like, when you, like, have foods that you shouldn't have and then, like, complain about it later, you're not as like, depressed about it, because you've made more progress. Like, like tracking the shit. Like, if I, eat <laughs> if I eat shit, I've been tracking it. And that's a positive change, so. Yeah, so, like, I don't know, I, you, you don't seem to get as, like, upset about it, and you seem to handle it better now. So, that's changed. You're also, like, I don't know, every day you seem to be, I mean, there's some days you just look at yourself and you just you're just all depressed but then like there are more days now where you look at yourself and just are happy about the way that you've changed yeah and I can see that I've noticed that in you probably because the scale's moving again figurative it's a digital scale thanks for that <laughs> nerd hey I got like a similar one so What's your favorite activity to do together? Activity. No, I, don't, I really like going running with you because we get to talk. Biking, there isn't too many chances to talk because you're more worried about how not to get run over by crazy drivers. Yeah. So, uh, I like running. I like going in the drive-in. That's actually pretty fun. The drive-in's been really fun. we got a drive-in like right down the road, and it's great. Mm -hmm. And we just go with the jeep with the top down. Took fajitas. Get bit by mosquitoes. <laughs> I get bit. She, like, she ended up with like a dozen mosquito bites yesterday, and I have one. They just love me. You're just tasty. <laughs> you probably like put some seasoning in my food that's like... I put a lot of seasoning in your food, but I eat the them. same food. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what's Maddie's favorite Starbucks drink, Quest Bar, and protein shake? Alright, Starbucks drink would be similar to yours. I don't know if that's your favorite, but I like the uh, skinny caramel macchiato. It's a very rare treat, but I do like it. Oh, and then it has to be extra hot, too. Yes. Just like Molly yes. likes it. <laughs> um, Quest Bar? I don't... You've I don't had, had one, I thought. You've had two. You've had... Chocolate brownie. 
And then the cookies and cream. I have to go with cookies and cream, then. I do remember you really liked that one. You liked the chocolate one, too, though. Yeah. It's been a while, though. And protein shake, you haven't really had a variety of. You've just had a few that I've made. There was the peanut butter one, I think we had. That was the only one I remember having. Oh, the peanut butter one. So I put PB2 Greek yogurt and gold standard whey chocolate cake batter. And some water and ice cubes. Uh, it was good. <laughs> We've had a couple others, but not really a ton. But. So, have anything to add? You got... <laughs> Did anybody else just see me get dive-bombed by that mall? Just saying. <laughs> I can't He was like, ear om nom nom. I don't think I have anything to add. Any other impromptu mm-hmm. questions? Mm-hmm. No. I can sit here and look stupid for four minutes and think about it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think of how things have changed since the last video. I guess it's asking more questions and being more policing. <laughs> we didn't have that question before, though. Yeah. But but you didn't before. Because it was new. And you didn't want to scare me away, I think. <laughs> you, I think you didn't think it was your place to say anything before. And you're still really hesitant, but you give me that look. So. All right. I think that's about it. All right. You good? Yep. Good. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day.